Um, but speaking of theater, and speaking of which, mm -hmm. so you're at school, and was it like a school play that got you interested in theater, or was it like... Um, it was a little bit of roundabout. Um, we were we were always huge readers in my family, mm -hmm. and my brothers and I, uh, we we you know we read the the children's library section out in a heartbeat, mm -hmm. and uh, so we take our mom and dad's library cards. Saturday we take the bus down to the library. We take twelve books out each. Come back up to the house, and then we would just read. How old are you? This was this was like. 12, 13, 14, 15, right. like just every right. week. We were, we were churning through 24 books a week each. Mm -hmm. So uh, the library had a book club and they got all the books before they got onto the shelves. So kind of went, oh, this is cool, we'll get the books. But it was actually um, a fake book club. What they really did was plays. <laughs> and so I joined the book club to get the books and then they were doing a play, and then um, they needed more people. So then I dragooned a bunch of friends to come and do the play with me, some of whom actually um, went and made an entire career in theater because I dragged them out to do Aladdin or Alibaba or whatever it was. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, Rossi Gross and Jane Still and, you know, people like that who, who had huge careers as producers and designers in, in theater and, and uh, film and television all blame me for bringing them down here to do this, this show. So I did that and I got hooked on it. And then I did plays. I ran the, the drama club at, at, at O'Neill. It was... Um, Hmm. It was it was special, and theater worked because um, there were two things. One was a an operating paradigm that I had is that if people liked you, they wouldn't kill you. So being in theater made everybody like you. But it was also a place where uh, theater and the Air Cadet Squadron in in Oshawa were two places where you could succeed and grow because of merit and that was huge so the two places those two places were really formative you know when in my teenage years where yeah they I I, I made it to the second highest uh, you know cadet rank they had but that was that was earned and and the the guys there the, those 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 people at, at uh, 151 Chadburn squadron um, yeah, you know, if you got the marks, you got the rank, and, and that was serious. 